You are watching Math Feats episode 29. I'm gonna make a video for each anime this season. You're watching episode 29. Okay, so I just finished watching the first episode of Machikado Mazoku. And you know, I've gotta say, this show is a fucking riot. And I love it. It was fucking hilarious. This, sh I, I feel like I haven't laughed this much in a comedy show for a, in like a really long time. I don't know what it is, but uh, the jokes really hit. And I really love the voice actors. I think they sound great, especially the main girl. Like when, and there's like this moment where she's like, you know, pissed off because the magical girl called her short. And so they just have this like, this growl sound. And she's just like, boo, boo. Boo boo! And it's so cute and it's so it's so good. I think the audio engineering in the show is really good because I think at all times the uh, audio just sounds like on point. Visuals look really good too. I really like the backgrounds. I think they are, you know. I mean, you know, I really like the colors and I really enjoy the gradients in their hairs. I think it looks really cool. I could see some people not really liking the gradients, but you know, I mean idiot there's a whole lot of skin fangs in this anime if you hate skin fangs skedaddle okay so let's talk about what this show is actually about okay so machikado mazoku is basically about a it's a comedy show about a girl who is a part of a lineage of i think devil girls and and basically they've been summoned away or they've been sealed away but uh she's the first one to get her power back because she's the heir and she's supposed to restore it to everybody else and to do that she has to defeat a magical girl and so what uh this curse basically does that they've been sealed away to and had they've had curses put on them by uh magical girls and one of the curses that or the curse that they've put on them is the 400 dollars a month curse so because of that her and her mother who is basically telling her all this stuff because obviously her mother is a part of this lineage and also you know has lost her demon powers and demon form so she's lost her horn and, and uh and tail but but our main character has uh has gained them back because she's the heir and so uh she's trying to fucking figure out how she's going to defeat a a fucking magical girl who saved her like who ended up saving her this episode when she's about to get hit by a car and that magical girl who's apparently like a whole foot taller than her just stopped that stop that truck with like one hand so she She's just like, please don't be, a, please be a cosplayer, please be a cosplayer, please be a cosplayer. And then she's like, nope, I'm a magical girl. And she's like, fuck, I'm supposed to beat those, but you know, she can't beat them. She can't beat her. So I don't know. I mean, this episode kind of ends with her, like with the magical girl teaching our main character a bit more about like punching form and shit because she's just so bad at like punching. She's bad at like everything, but she's really cute. And I enjoy this show. I think it's really sweet. In fact, I was just like re-watching it by accident just like just because I just got sucked into the episode because it's just so funny and so entertaining. I love how her mom will just like whenever she wants her to pay attention she'll just fucking grab her horns and then just fucking just fucking pull them towards her so that she's just facing her and it just fucks her up every time and it's so fucking funny. <laughs> mom just over here grabbing the horns winky face. I just love the humor of this show like it just reminds me of Nichiju in a way like it's just very like snappy like a uh, fast pace like there's there's jokes on jokes on jokes like if you uh look at like there's a scene while uh they're just looking at the the magical girl in her classroom and every single time they look inside the classroom they're like two girls who are just like doing like different things every time and they're like always getting in the way of like and blocking her view it's just like and it's never called to or anything but it's just like there's so many of these like little things always like adding up it's really good i think this is the kind of show that like you would most preferably want to watch the show alone because if you're watching it with somebody else you're gonna miss out on a whole lot of stuff and probably have a lesser experience but if you watch this on your own you're going to you're gonna like see a whole lot of things that you're gonna going to really enjoy it not to say that this is a terrible show to watch with a friend or anything but i mean i think you'd you would uh get way more out of it the experience from watching it uh in an environment where you can really absorb it Oh, fair enough i guess uh there are just so many gags in this show that are just so funny like there's like a for example when she uh when she finally kills a or defeats a magical girl 
She has to drain their blood and offer it to the demon god statue. And basically, she's like, where the hell am I going to find a demon god statue? And then her mom's like, you know that thing I used to prop the door open? And she's like, the door stopper? It's so funny. <laughs> So Yuko is basically only doing this because she wants to get taller and also because she's always hungry because she's and she's so short because she's probably malnourished because her mom's only been forced to make $400 a month. And so, you know, if she can cure her the entire dark plan of the curse that they that's been put on them, then she'll be able to go to like all you can eat buffets and shit and make way more money. Really, what I was thinking was why doesn't she just go go start working you know why didn't she just start going to work herself and so she can just be the breadwinner of the family because she probably doesn't have that 400 dollars a month curse on her but uh that was never mentioned in the anime at least not so far i would, I, I i wouldn't be surprised if it's mentioned later on so like you get the context that she's constantly hungry because she's so short and malnourished and that like she's always asking her mom for seconds and stuff and her mom's like there's no more food she would be like yo we've already used up all of this mom's rice so you know there's no more rice for this month but hey i mean hey if you can defeat a magical girl then we can get way more food man the jokes in this show are just so constant it's just like one of them are bound to hit and i think the way that they present each like comedic like moment and like all of the jokes just always feel like like i love them i actually think this show is great i feel like i could watch this girl do a whole bunch of shit and just see her figure out what it's like to be a demon girl you know what i mean to see like what her life is like while she has this tail and these horns on her head like the magical girl is so obscenely strong it's crazy like she broke three like strength grip uh testers and they had to use three at one time to accurately judge her strength it's just like a whole bunch of like just stacking her overpoweredness on top of like and just compiling it you know just compiling it on top of each other she literally can't be touched and she's fucking huge she's like way bigger than than yuko yuko's never gonna beat her judging by the ed it looks like we're going to meet some more uh demon girls sooner or later which is pretty cool because i mean man do i want to see what a, a true powerful demon girl looks like a girl who can uh you know actually give the magical girl a challenge the ed actually looks pretty good too and i love the music it's sounds good i really want to know about all the girls i'm intrigued come on show them to me give them to me this show just has so much personality and it just has so much like to it that i'm completely on board i can't wait to see more of this show i'm totally going to keep up with machikado mazoku that's all i've got to say about machikado Mo mazoku guys thank you for watching uh i'll see you next time